Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I wanted to share with you a little process and sneak peek behind the creation of this kit right here. So this is the Mini Bookmakers Club Kit World Traveler Edition that I designed for Everyday Explorers Co. this August. So I'm super, super excited to be the guest artist for Everyday Explorers Co. If you wanna know more about this, I actually shared it in my newsletter and I will do a blog post about it so you can read about it. But Christine of Everyday Explorers Co. invited me to create this travel journaling kit for your next adventure and it's part of her monthly subscription called Mini Bookmakers Club and I wanted to share with you how everything came together because projects like this are always so meaningful to me. Anything that has travel themed elements well coinciding also with my book coming out this August to September so if you haven't pre-ordered yet make sure to check all the links in the description to know more but for now I'm gonna put in some timestamps and I actually had a very um, technical setup in mind to share with you how this came about but at the end of the day I was like you know what I'm just gonna share with you everything that I know and all that I figured out while creating this product and yeah everything is in the timestamps down below so I'll share with you the design process like what I used on my iPad and what tools I used to create all of these designs as well as of course a walkthrough of the actual product and what's inside and I do hope you enjoy this video So here is a little peek at the sketches that I made for the project and what I like to do is to transfer some of them to Procreate and I did like a little um, sketch layer and then after that I use the I think I use the studio pen because I want to make sure that the lines are very precise because these are going to be for digital purposes I can't use pencil like pencil texture because it's not gonna come out well when it goes to the stamping because these are gonna be turned into stamps and to digital stickers and to recolor them it's better to have a more solid um stroke so what i also did was i increased like i keep forgetting the term but the pressure or like streamline it so that it's more seamless looking and I think that's a really great feature of Procreate that I actually really like because I'm not usually into digital but it actually makes things easier so here is a little peek at how it looks like And I always like to put everything in Notion. Actually, this 2022 project has everything. And so um, I also log the dates that I submitted the designs. So here is a little brief from Everyday Explorers Co. So she sent me a kit sample of her June edition so that I have an idea of what elements to create, which is great because I come in here like not knowing exactly what to do. But having this like visual... Um, component like there's a stamp set there are three sticker sheets there's papers and this like informative guide then it makes more sense for me and then i started to um list down all of the kit contents so that i could track my design designing basically and like whether or not i finished um specific deliverables and then i also put in a look and feel because this was something that i wanted to really push and make sure that it didn't um, become too far apart from Every Explorers Co. as the brand so it had to be like a combination of my design work and the colors that match Every Explorers Co. because it's a collaborative um, kit and here are the launch info so we always try to iron everything out as both of us me and Christine are shop owners so it really makes sense to just organize everything on the get-go so here are also the schedules for the launch dates and we're also um, figuring out who to send the kits to um, and then I think yeah this one was my little um, dump so I wanted to maybe add in these words and some of them actually ended up in finals like all the ephemera the journey begins and I wanted to just put it there so that um, it's toggled and I have it everything there. Of course, the dollars is like the money part, so I'm not gonna talk to you about that. 
um as well as uh this one is more of like my drafts when i was writing the little zine idea page basically in the co- in the label is it the label kind of like the packaging the overall packaging of it um i also put in the topic ideas for your mini book so yes i wrote everything there because i wanted to figure out like what's the best way to actually um package the kit in such a way that you can find it useful for your travel journaling and it depends on your preferences right so i'll show you um the initial sample that i gave ch so that you can see how everything sort of came together so we decided on initially the title was going to be an en route but you know it's it's french and i think it wasn't so easy to to explain to people like en route is like in transit so i decided to just go with world traveler which i think really matches the whole um concept of the kit and then this was the finalized color scheme we actually had like different colorways but this one was a nice combination of warm colors cool colors and neutral colors so um i just pasted all of the text and info and this was the initial um plan i had for the book cover which i think eventually still ended up being green but not like this green it was more like I think like this green which is more like muted green because this is too bright kind of looks like blackboard green. And then here was the paper uh, the page inside. I wanted the layout to look like this. Why? Because on the upper right hand there is a location tag so I really like location tags. This main area could be for um a photo or a drawing or an ephemera. Here on the left side, lower left, there are two boxes. So one can be like either the establishment or a stamp. And then the other one could be a sticker. And then here I wanted to put in some notes or bullet points. So ideally, that's what I wanted um, for the page to look like, which still ended up becoming that. Um, it's really up to the person who has the kit to figure out what to do with the kit and the pages inside. And like be experimental with that. Um, these were the initial stickers. I actually had a hard time designing the last one because I'm not such a graphic person, which is kind of ironic. But I really liked working on this one where I could just do the prompts. And I actually repeated a lot of the prompts because I realized that it seemed super sad to just have like one sticker for cafe journaling. And you might just like save that sticker and that's kind of sad. So I just decided to duplicate most of them. And then this one is more of a functional one, although the these labels we ended up switching them out to i think photo corners which is also pretty useful for travel journaling and then this was the initial clear stamp that eventually was like changed switched around thanks to the powers of ch so i wanted to really incorporate these elements like see the world travel and then i also wanted to mix a bit of font so this is the font that i always use for my youtube videos and i just like how it blends so well with my lettering and il illustrations so it was a bit difficult to get through the sizing of this because you want to make sure that every part of the stamp set is like um has a it's filled up basically so it could be used like for the entire like how they said area so it was a bit complicated but eventually um it worked out but i did want this see the world and the suitcase one to be um more magnified and really big and for the papers there were a lot of iterations i had so much fun doing this um it's similar to what i did for the paper society ph paper book so there were a mix of canvas patterns drawings um grids like ephemera vintage style this one eventually was one of christine's favorites so i did something similar so i had two of those and then i think there was a yeah we had a postcard so i decided to use this hot air balloon photo from south africa this one on the right is actually from japan and then i think one of these photos were ended up um, used for the papers so yeah i had a lot of photos because these were also from my travel journaling book and that's how everything sort of came together for the digital aspect and like putting everything in it is here and i'm so excited to share with you what's inside the mini bookmakers club for august the theme is World Traveler and it's designed by yours truly. And um, the first part of the video, I did share with you a couple more insights about the process because I always like talking about 
what I do and how everything um, made sense. But apart from sharing with you what's inside this kit, I'm also gonna talk about how you can um, see which ones made it to the final, um, to the final product itself. I am super, super ecstatic and grateful that um, CH invited me to work on this because anything that has travel in it is always a go for me. And second, it was really a challenge for me to create products that just was not like one product. So this mini book makers club journal kit basically has a bunch of different things. There's like stamps, stickers, paper, and creating this whole um, kit was such a great experience for me. I really enjoyed dabbling into the multiple parts of the creative process from ideation to designing and also to writing. And um, yeah, it just looks like everything seems so easy, but honestly, there's a lot of work going behind the scenes with these kinds of products. So first you will get this um, sort of flap. This flap is pretty informative because it has all the info you need. So these are the contents of the uh, mini book kit. And then here there's, there's like a little questionnaire on what you plan to do with a mini book, which is great. So it's like a nice way to plan stuff out. And then here you have some design ideas on how you can decorate with the stickers, the papers and everything you find in the kit. This side is actually something that I wrote. So these are an idea. These are ideas for your mini book. What's on your travel itinerary? So you can either plan your trip, you can list down your favorite places, you can start a cafe journal. I personally like the cafe journal idea, of course. You can document new discoveries and you can write down a trip recap. So depending on where you are on your trip, literally and figuratively, it's great to figure out what this will be for. And then at the back, we have this this month's theme. So this is the theme, it's travel journaling. And there are some basic steps on how to get started. So hopefully this gives you a little um, idea into how to use the mini book. Now let's get on with the contents. So I actually don't know if I arranged them correctly, but let's just start with the basics. So first you have this like little card um, it says world traveler. This is a mini book by so you can write your name and when you finished it So actually the idea of this is once you finish the journal the mini book you put this card inside With the finished journal. So it's like a little like I have finished and now I'm gonna store it in my Journal collection. So that's the main idea of this we'll sh which I'll show you in a bit This one is a little card about yours truly. That's me because, you know, just in case people don't know who Abby C is, maybe they will know through this one. And this little collage I made this is actually one of my pages in New York. And then we have, I would say this is the highlight of every Everyday Explorer product, Everyday Explorer's product, because Everyday Explorers has been doing stamps ever since the beginning. When I first met CH, that's the first thing I got introduced to. She would make, um, she makes a lot of these stamps and documenting tools and I really enjoy them. So the first stamp, the first cola we also did was a stamp set. We also did another one. So we did two stamp sets and then this was like more of my um, work now. So this is the World Traveler stamp set. As you can see, I was really inspired by like vintage copy so he's like see the world um the journey begins world traveler across the miles and i created this um intently with the idea of using everything for a specific purpose so for example if you are uh, taking the trip you can use this stamp or like you are journaling about it or even this art books and coffee checklist so depending if you're going to an art place book place or coffee place you can choose either of that and of course, there are other things that are more common. So for example, trip highlight, documented, and I just wanted to sort of encapsulate the whole idea of traveling in one stamp set. So you have this one. And then um, this is the mini book. So every month the mini book is different. And for this August, it is actually, um, what's this? This is a globe and it's the same one that you see here. 
and I had it in this like I requested this like green color and the whole idea of this is so that it could work in conjunction with the stamp so for example here is location and then for example if you want to do art books and coffee you can stamp it here and then you can write the name of the establishment so you can also put the icons here so it's really a, a nice mix of different um, iterations of how you want to document it and here on the right I kind of want to make it like a, a little review or something so ideally you can put a picture here or like a stamp here or like different like ephemera whatever you see fit but that's how I kind of imagine the whole idea of the mini book so for example if you finish using the mini book you can just put it right here it's just so satisfying because it fits like a glove and then you just put this in and you're good to go so that's the whole idea of the um, the sleeve Lastly, we're going to go to my favorite. I had had a blast designing these papers and stickers. So for the papers, you have four sheets and they are um, double sided. So you get to choose which ones you would like to um, cut up. But this one is kind of like a collage kit. So you can cut it up and you can um, use them for journaling, of course. This one is also the similar, a similar um, iteration where you can cut things up. So these are actually my illustrations and that's actually my journals. And these are my film photos. These are tickets that I actually used. I always just like putting them as like little um, collage kits like this. And then this one was a recommendation by CH, which is really great. It is um, like a film frame. So you can use it to write notes or also put in maybe photos. Um, on the opposite side, this is actually a, a photo from my book, The Art of the Travel Journal. And um, it's like a chapter opener photo. So you can actually write a quote here and use it as well. Um, I just find it really nice and it's one of my favorite ones. And it really speaks a lot about travel, shows a lot about travel. Okay, this one is probably my favorite because these are film photos that I've taken and actually this one on top is from a trip to Japan so that's like um, this is the old Kyoto trains that's why it looks very vintage and I really like the color and how it looked like when I got it I had my film roll developed and here on the bottom is actually a picture from the bookstore called Do You Read Me here in Berlin and it was a really hot sunny day so you can see that the sun was like really like shining brightly and I really love the complementary effect both pictures have that's why I decided to put both of them together lastly we're gonna go with the stickers so the stickers are very simple but they do the job I have been a huge fan of dot stickers for the longest time so this one was a no-brainer that I had to do so these are dot stickers by the way these are the colors that we um, came up with the color scheme we came up with for the kit so we have icons here as well and then um, little banners and these are photo frames so you can actually use them for um, corners like corner frames and then right here at the bottom we have um, how do you call this like washi tapes so they're great for just like layering stuff in and um, putting them on the journal pages next we have um, this one is an iteration of the stamp, so we have some quotes as well, like see the world, the suitcase, enjoy the journey. So these are just little elements that you can add on and layer in with your journal spreads as well. So each mini book Makers Club kit has all these, like you have prompts, you have like illustrated stickers and basic stickers so that it's really useful and it's really great for um, all kinds of journaling attempts and journaling styles. So this one would be probably my favorite. So um, I had to do some prompts and so I always thought of, oh, what are the actual um, things that I think about? when I am traveling like that I want to have like as prompts and so this are these are the ones that really came to mind for example like it's time for coffee a free day 
a core memory. I love the core memory idea. Um, departure date, arrival date. If you're taking a train, plane, bus ride, an art venture, going to a museum, bookstore, coffee shop, everything is just here. And so that's the whole idea of how I wanted to present um, the different stickers and the elements that you see in this kit. Now, um, this kit is available at everydayexplorers.co and everydayexplorers.ph and soon at my shop for Europe residents. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys will like it and I hope you will take them with you on your next adventure. All links will be down in the description, so make sure to check that out. And thank you so much for watching and checking out what's inside the Mini Bookmakers Club World Traveler Edition. So that is it for this video. I think the last time I did something similar was when I did The Diarist, which is also going to be having its second volume run this September. Um, but yeah, I love talking about the process. I think people take it a lot for granted because everything you see is just like very fast on the internet, you know, like we made a thing, I made a thing. And I just find it really always so nice to talk about how everything came together. And I always even like interviewing people and asking people what is behind everything. Oh, random side note, that was actually my DeviantArt name, behindeverything.deviantart.com. Why did I say that on the internet? Anyway, um, if you want to get the kit, it is widely available now in the US and international and also in the Philippines. So I'll put all the links in the description. So it's all Everyday Explorers. And then for the US and international, it's .co. For the Philippines, it's .ph. Now here in Europe, I'm going to be having some kits available as well. I'm just working on the logistics because I have a lot of travels from this month to next month, so I won't be able to like run the shop like full time. So I will just push it back to October, but rest assured, I will also carry it here in the EU if you're interested. And if you're not keen on getting the physical product and wanna do like a DIY situation, there's actually printables that you can download in three by four, which is like the project life size, or the TN size printable, or you can actually download the entire kit on its own in digital format with this like four by six um, dimension. So really it's your call. So if you wanna check those out and just a reminder, these are limited editions. So run, don't walk. And I am super excited to see what you will do with this travel journaling kit. My hope is that you find yourself, wow, that was so deep, okay, but you find yourself in the midst of like how you document, you discover this as you use this kit. Personally, I'm super excited to also use this kit because I'm going to be in the US for the latter half of August and I wanted to see things from a different perspective. I get so used to like traveling and like, actually I haven't traveled, traveled like far, far away, like, Okay, I'm in Berlin, but this is not, as I mentioned in previous videos, this is not counted as traveling, but I haven't really traveled for a really long time that meant really a vacation. So I'm really looking forward to that. And hopefully once I fill something up or I fill up my own journal, I will share with you my own process about it in the future. So for now, make sure to check out everything in the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and for your time. Special shout out to my patrons for making it possible for me to travel. And actually I had a, I haven't even announced it on YouTube, but I organized, um, I'm a guest teacher for Case for Making in San Francisco and it sold out. I, I didn't even announce it yet here. So I'm like, thank you for funding my US trip. It means a lot to me. And yeah, thank you again for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, just leave it in the chat below. And I will see you in the next video. Always be creating. Bye.